All right, welcome back, everybody. So today, it was hell that has been requested to do a you know refresh and whatnot. Uh, this is going to cover both damage and healing, supporting whatever you want to call it, all in one video instead of the last time where I did two separate videos, however many months ago that was. So let's go right into the actives itself. You go into sprint, and then the top right, heavenly agility. This is if you want to you know mainly concentrate on supporting your team. Uh, and what Heavenly Agility does, if you don't know already, increases all your allies' movement speed that's around you within a certain radius. And also, uh, their healing and also your healing is increased by 25%. So, it's a really nice supportive item uh, if you want to use it to rush into a team fight or get out of a team fight. And then, if people are hurt, your heals are going to do a lot more with Heavenly Agility buff active for the short duration that it is. So, it works out pretty good if you want to just go all out support. Now, as far as boots, if you don't really care for uh, healing that much, um, you can probably get away with going shoes of magi and just keep a chrono spin. It. But if you want to go full on support like healing, then you definitely want to go full cooldown reduction. So you, for one, you can heal more often, hell of a lot more often, and then also switch stances more often. So even if you're not too crazy about healing, having max cooldown reduction, like I said, it, it's it's pretty beneficial for health. So you can use all of your abilities whenever you can. Uh, Rod Asclepius, really great item for Helm, especially if you want to, you know, focus on your healing quite a bit. Because it, for one, obviously it increases your heals, increases your movement speed so you can get to your allies faster so you can heal them. Uh, health for survivability, because Hell is a really squishy god. And then finally, a pretty good amount of magical power in, in this rod, plus 75, not too bad at all. Uh, Bancroft's Talon, this is my own little personal favorite. Uh, you can, you know, change this item slot for something else. Like, if you want to go a little bit more survivability, since, you know, Hell has, like, barely any defense or HP, um, you can pick, pick a Borlock Sash. Uh, this is, what, what, like, one of the great stacking items for mages if you want to go a little bit of survivability. I've been picking this up quite a bit more often, especially on my raws. Uh, Warlock Sash, really great stacking item for survivability. You gain quite a bit of magical power, HP. So I'd recommend this if you want survivability on your mages. Um, and if it's if it's assault and you can't get a stack an item, and you want an HP item, you know pick up whatever else you want. Chip of isolation, I guess that could work. Uh, if you use your one, your ranged uh, attack to slow them down, um, that can be good. And then you can follow up and get close to them to use your three. You can use that strategy for jump of isolation or ethereal staff. You get a hell of a lot of HP, so you don't have to worry about HP. So that's going to help prevent you from getting bursted down really quick, and you have some chance to respond, which dances heal yourself, whatever the case may be. So, you know, those are just those options and how those things work. But Bad Cross Town, a lot of power in this item, a lot of life steal, and the passive works out really great. So if you're getting damaged down, you can switch to your light stance, and you can have so much more increased magical power that you can heal yourself even more than what you usually would. Uh, and even if on your dark stance you're getting damaged down while you're trying to like clear waves or whatever the case may be, uh, as soon as you use your three, boom, that big AOE splash hits, you're gonna gain life steal from that. So having life steal on a healer is really awesome because you get the heal itself, and then you get the life steal, and you're also doing damage all at once. Really great. Uh, and then, of course, we will need penetration, especially if you didn't get the penetration boots. Uh, Obsidian Shard would probably be your best bet, plus 70 power, really cheap item, and 33% magical penetration on this item. Really great for penetration. And then finally, Rod to Hoodie for all your magical power needs at the end, and MP5 uh, for days, especially from your light side. So, uh, we have 694 magical power on our dark side. If you go to light side, it goes down a little bit, down to 619, but still that's not too bad, but that's a lot of magical power for a god. Alright, so, um, I'm going to show off the heals. I should probably turn down my speakers. Alright, so, I'm going to let this harpy uh, damage us down to about halfway, and then you can see our heals without our heavenly agility. Boom, 718 heals, and then we used our one, healed ourselves for 318. So we did a thousand heals within that short time span, so that's pretty damn good. Next, we'll do some damages with our dark side. Let's let our dark side meter fill up. Boom, splash, 916 damages. 
Uh, now, of course, this is against, you know, these cheesy minions and harpy over there. Not against real players, so kind of address that accordingly. I finally go to Rawbot, use some combos, bring him down. Oh, alright, so that was really simple. <laughs> so that's going to wrap it up for the build. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Yeah. <laughs>